Welcome back to Jammy D Media and today we are reviewing Cosmos, a 20th century Fox show. It's a 13 episode series based off Carl Sagan's uh, original Cosmos set in the 80s. Well, set in the 80s. Shown in the 80s basically, a long while ago now, well before I was born, by about 10 years or so. Carl Sagan was a scientist. He basically made a science show explaining how things work, including the world, the universe, evolution, Darwinism, blah blah blah. Everything you want to know. Uh, this is an updated series with updated information, graphics, CGI, Neil deGrasse Tyson presents, Alan Silvestri does the team intro, and Seth MacFarlane produces and does all the nice uh, animation on the different scientists. Uh, this show is amazing. I'm going to show you the, the box and we will, you know, what's inside it and things like this, and then we'll talk about the show a little bit. So, front, this is the slipcover, bought it when it came out pretty much, loved the show when it was on TV, uh, had to buy it on Blu-ray, so happy there was a Blu-ray release, looks like that, slip comes off, stick that there for a sec, same artwork, backpack, opens like this, you got a little slip for some of the other amazing documentaries, UFO, Alien Invasion, of course, uh, probably not up to the same standard of Cosmos, I would say. Uh, you got your titles basically, uh, show episode guides here, it's breakdown over four discs, three episodes more or less on each disc, you get special features as well, we'll go into them in a bit. Uh, disc one, nice animation there, disc two, disc three and disc four, lovely animation all this, all region free by the way, there is French on this and another language I think, apart from English. Doesn't say it on the back of the box, but it, there actually is French on this. And a French dub as well, actually. Subtitles on the dub. There's Neil deGrasse Tyson in the sip of, Ship of Imagination, uh, which is where they fly around uh, doing, you know, thoughts, scientific thoughts, exploring scientific thoughts, and uh, the universe at large. So that be the box set, as they say. Oh my god. Uh, this needs a 4K release on a personal note because it looks amazing on Blu-ray but I'm just greedy and like these special effects are amazing. CGI looks great, the animation looks good. Watch you some of this. Special features, uh, audio commentary, standing up in the Milky Way. That's the first episode of this and it basically says, here we are on planet Earth, then we're, you know, in our solar system and then the Milky Way galaxy and then outwards it kind of expands outwards to like where our address is in reality <laughs> that space and time I guess but um it's interesting it kind of just goes sections and here's what we think is beyond the beyond and things like this uh, really interesting um there's a few interesting concepts in this like the cosmic calendar which is from like one of the original things of the, the original show so it's a kind of a CGI map and every main event that happens in history like the universe comes into being, okay, the first planets are formed, the forces of gravity kind of happen, uh, you know, the forces of the universe I guess start to happen which is probably before the planets I would say because you need gravity before you can make planets gravitate to each other, obviously. <laughs> Uh, and things like this, you know, dinosaurs happened, and here we are crawling out of the primordial ooze, and here we are as apes, and then we're evolving, and here we are with our wolf compatriots, and now we're domesticating our wolf friends. That's actually one of the interesting uh, two minute things of like explaining evolution, like radical evolutions, like, hey, remember when dog breeds weren't like uh, in their hundreds? Well, it all started off with wolves and we did artificial evolution and just started breeding dogs that we liked uh, from wolves. And that's how we have dogs. So evolution is a thing. There's like radical evolution in the last 3,000 years. Yeah. Done? No. But it, it goes on and on. It explains climate change. Like, you don't come out of this show for one second thinking, oh yeah, no, no, that's all fake news. No, this goes to painstaking lengths to explain to you scientific laws and principles and the scientists who spent their life uh, and the, these are some committed dudes to you know gather information and research uh, compile it all together make the case and present their evidence basically which is what you do in science you present 
your evidence having tested and bounced up all of scientific uh, principles and laws and physics and things like this as I like to think of it yeah this show will explain to you why climate change is not a hoax and evolution is a real thing and I'm looking at you America and Donald Trump be Republican be for boundaries be for whatever but fucking look at the evidence okay evidence not alternative facts actual fucking evidence that people have been more or less agreed upon in the scientific community 99 fucking percent of them agree that this is happening okay so wake up and fucking watch this show in fact i might buy a copy and send it to the white house if there was any chance and stick a big fox logo on it amazing fox must watch now Look on it for Donald Trump to watch and he'll be like, it's fantastic, uh, I think I'll watch this. And he might get a bit smarter and change his position. But, uh, you know, climate change is not a hoax created by the Chinese, for God's sake. Uh, even that coming out of my mouth sounds stupid. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson, you need to go meet the President of the United States and inform him with some knowledge, please. Uh, so this show is super articulate and Neil deGrasse Tyson is an incredibly articulate person and there's something about being shown like really fantastic CGI images of just here's how this happens so you can imagine or try and imagine how these complex concepts of things like form of galaxies and universes forming and shit and evolution and this stuff uh, with articulate reasoning and rationales and you're like you don't have to be a super clever dude to sit down and watch this show and kind of zone into it and be like oh okay or you know you don't have to fucking leave your brain out there as well because it's an education you're learning as well so your brain's engaged but it's not like it's not doing the heavy lifting as such you know which is um you know it's nice obviously for you're there for the entertainment part of it as well and it's an entertaining show uh Seth MacFarlane does these animations for these scientists so you get like Michael Faraday and Marie Twerp or Tarp or whatever her name is and she discovered the, the mid-Atlantic Ridge and things like this and, uh, you know, Hess and the cosmic rays and Einstein and how the new thoughts of relativity and how, you know, time and space bend and, you know, a lot of crazy, crazy scientific principles uh, and laws are just kind of explained in the show. And it's fantastic. I mean, it's, it sounds complex. But it, 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 the show goes through every effort to try and make this as simple as it can be for you. So you come out of this going, oh yeah, I really appreciate what they did. That was really good of them to do that kind of stuff. Really, really good show. Um, I like when they're flying around the ship of imagination. It looks fucking badass. It looks like something out of Star Trek, one of these new Star Trek movies or something. Fucking class animations. Uh, beautiful, beautiful thoughts, you know. Obviously we're all made of stardust and things like this. Catholic League are not such fans of the show. They said it's weird Christianity. They don't have liked Seth MacFarlane very much. Probably a few Republicans in the US didn't like this either. I'm looking at you, Sarah Palin. Uh, but yeah, look, this science is for people who have their eyes open and question things. When I was younger, I didn't accept that Jesus walked on water because A, I cannot walk on water and the answer, well, you're not the Messiah, simply wasn't good enough for me. Okay, I need to know how things work. Uh, some people just want to know how things work. Some people have their eyes open to the world and I'm not trying to give praise onto myself or anyone else, but some people just want to know how things work and they want stuff that makes sense not some gobbledygook about some rubbish from a, a religious text from bonkers years ago okay you if you want to know how the world works start picking up from some fucking documentaries for yourself okay seriously treat your treat your mind it's like food for your mind okay it's like transformers but clever <laughs> but yeah um set aside if you're a christian that's fine if you're a christian watch this show um this isn't gonna take away from the the amazingness of the universe uh, you know evolution is not something to be afraid of creationism is bong bong bing bong you know donald trump stuff it's rubbish and climate change is not a hoax i'm not i sound like i'm proselytizing i'm preaching right now but it's true climate change isn't a hoax 
Claire Patterson, Darwin the Age of Planet Earth, you know, by carbon dating, how old carbon dioxide is and things, and go, oh, well, it's not 5,000 years old, it's actually 4.5 billion years old. And I don't want this to turn into a rant or anything about, like, science versus creationism, but, look, evidence is evidence, and letters on a page from Yonks ago are letters on a page from Yonks ago, and pretty soon Harry Potter will be letters on a page from Yonks ago. But, you know, science is the reason and the rationale of testing principles, you know. Like, if I fall out of a building, a three-story, six-story building, gravity is going to pull me to the ground. That's a that's an outcome that's probably going to happen more or less unless I have a trampoline or a big amount of bubble wrap to catch me. Gravity is going to pull me down and I'm going to be smushed, okay. The fine intervention is not going to happen. That's for, like, that other TV show, Touched by an Angel, which hopefully never gets a remake. Uh, but yeah, this this is good stuff. This should be in schools, I think. I'm uh, not like drilling it down, people, but just like showing it in science class or whatever. You know, show your religion or whatever if you want. I'm against having religion in schools, by the way. But look, there are schools that have religion in it. So let science be science and religion be religion. And one of these has more answers than the other. Now, obviously, religion has spiritual answers, I guess, over you know, physical answers like science. Science is more about the physical and what you can see, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, I hope they're obvious anyway. In this post-Trump world, it's hard to know what is obvious and common sense is apparently not common anymore, so. Yeah, but it's it, this has gone cheap on Amazon. It's about a tenner, region free. There's subs. I think there's Spanish, French, and English on this, so it's, it's pretty. There's no German on this. I remember that. that so no German I remember people complaining about it having no German on it but look uh, this is great pick it up watch it um, you'll really enjoy it um, kids will really like it as well um, you can watch this from any age really from 8 to 30 to 40 50 it's just so engaging and articulate and you don't see shows like that anymore it's mostly CGI and beautiful animation and the CGI is beautiful as well uh, obviously BBC David Attenborough stuff uh, you know, it's a different kettle of fish, it's animals and it's, you know, painstaking photographic video shots that they took forever, like years and weeks to get. This is a uh, different, but it's one of the best, best documentaries, apart from like Netflix making a murder and the jinx and all this kind of stuff. Like about science, this is one of the best stuff to come out of the US. I want to say ever, I know Morgan Freeman did his wormhole thing, but I, I wasn't impressed by it, I thought it was okay. But I know I'm gonna suck BBC's cock like in a in a few more of these videos with documentaries, you know, about fucking pretty much everything there, planet Earth and stuff like that. But you know, do you just remember to like yeah, praise the cosmos? This is a great show. It really is a great show. Uh, sorry, Doctor Neil deGrasse Tyson. Sorry about that, Doctor Tyson, or is it Doctor deGrasse Tyson? I don't know. Well, I'll look into it. <laughs> But yeah, um, don't get it on DVD. This really needs to be seen on Blu-ray. Um, it's spectacular. Don't lose a second. Uh, and you get more bonuses as well. An, an interactive uh, cosmic calendar as well, which is kind of cool. If you want to just jump around in time and quickly show people at certain points of like, here's the universe. That's that's a cool thing to have actually at, at your disposal. It's just like, if you're having an argument with someone about the universe and you go, no, this happened before that. You can just go on the cosmic calendar, bing, bing, bing as Trump would say, and figure out where you are. So yeah, great stuff. Pick it up. Well cheap. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, articulate. Seth MacFarlane, he draw good. Uh, show looks well. So until next time, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you next time with a new uh, review and unboxing of something. So see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.